Believe it or not, signal integrity is all around us. It's happening right now at this moment. There is a speaker like myself and there is the receiver. Now between us, there is this channel. If something were to happen to the channel, then we have a signal integrity problem. Today, we're going to focus on the signal integrity in digital channels. Say we have a CPU trying to output some video to a monitor to the right. In between, my advisor Eric calls it the interconnect. And he summarizes really well in one sentence, signal integrity is about the problems interconnects introduce and how to avoid them. We'll use S parameter. A quick overview of S parameter. If you have a channel, port one on the left, port two, a certain frequency F naught, we'll send in a sine wave, whatever's coming back is S11. It's excited, the port one excited by port one, the re also known as reflection coefficient and the return loss. And in signal integrity, we are, we're, we're pretty chill people, unlike those microwave <laughs> engineers. You can quote S11 uh, return loss as a positive or negative number, we will understand. And since we're not dealing with active channels. Now if you take a look at what's going through, the S21, we call it the transmission coefficient and it's also the insertion loss. Likewise, IL can be quoted positive, well, mostly negative number, positive numbers as well. Now, when you have a differential channel to minimize noise, you pair two transmission lines together. That makes a differential pair. And we'll look at differential port one to port two. Now, pay close attention to the port assignment here. On the top is port one, two, and then bottom three, four. In this way, we can maintain our S21 understanding, that is the insertion loss, instead of calling it S31 if you have a different naming convention. Now by looking at the mixed mode S parameter, we'll be talking about being differential and being common, and be out differential and be out common, all the common signals and all the differential signals. And here are a, a quick matrix overview of what it looks like we have differential signal stimulus on the top, common on the top, different response on the left. So there are 16 distinctive S parameters, and each one of each one of them is a complex number. That's 16 times two. So that's many numbers. But but it's good news. We we'll focus on mostly these four. Now the naming, the nomenclature is like this. We have the SDD, say we talk about SDD11, is we're talking about the differential response at port one, excited by differential input at port one. Now the SDD11 and 21 are related to the differential return loss and insertion loss, while the SCD21 is talking about mode conversion, i.e. the EM generation and SDC21 is EM susceptibility.